What's up, YouTube? I'm back with part two of Pro Hormones, SARMs, and Natural Bodybuilding. Now, if you didn't watch the first video, go back and watch the first video. Uh, woo! Had to let that out. Go back and watch the first video. And I, it's where I tell you about my experience with Pro Hormones. Since my experience with Pro Hormones, it's been three years. Three long years. I didn't touch anything. I've been back in the gym over a year. Nothing. Now, SARMs. I've been doing a lot of research on SARMs. A lot, a lot, a lot of research. So much research that I decided that I'm actually gonna run a cycle of SARMs. So, I tried to find some good sources. Um, now, I'm not running this on myself because uh, I don't necessarily know how my body's gonna respond to it. So I have a test subject. I have a lab rat. that I'm gonna t test these uh, chemicals on. Now, I found a website called Proven Peptides. Did some research on it, heard they were legit. I don't freaking know. And I bought, one second, I'll show you. Now, here we go. Went to Proven Peptides and I got some Rad 140. I heard this was the best SARM out there. Focus in on that. Focus, 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 man. Focus, man. Okay, so I got some Rad 140 from Proven Peptides. Now, for the first five days, I tested this on my lab rat. Uh, no effects. Um, I was trying to figure out how much to give my lab rat because on the dropper here, it says it goes from 0.25 milliliters to one milliliter, right? And so it said you should take anywhere from, I forget how many it said. So I have a male lab rat and a female lab rat. Now it says female lab rats, females should take about anywhere between five milligrams to 10 milligrams. Now I'm like, well, this says milliliters. So how the fuck am I supposed to know what a what five milligrams is. And so I just kind of did uh, an estimate. And so I would fill the dropper up to about this first bubble here, right? Maybe halfway up to the 0.25 mark. I don't know if you guys can see this. This shit is having a hard time focusing. Let me put my hand behind it and see if that helps. Anyways, it says, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, and one milliliter. This is so stupid. Hello, focus. Anyways, you get the freaking point. So I would just fill it up halfway to the 0.25, and I'm like, well, that's about five milligrams. Right, so for five days, um, given my test subjects, what I think is five milligrams. And then, and that's for my female and what my other, um, my male um, test subject, I was giving, I think 15 or 20, whatever. So this is what happens when you don't read instructions. Five days later, 
I look on the side of the bottle and I realize that it tells you right here how many milligrams there are. Right here it says 15 milligrams per milliliter. Now, had I known that, I wouldn't have been going through this, this trouble. So I was giving my subjects way less than what I should have been giving them. So I finally started giving them the right dosage uh, for one week. <clears throat> I noticed no increase in strength, no increase in gains. Uh, I don't think my subjects like the taste of this too much. Uh, it's really nasty, bitter taste. Um, and so I realized at the end of a week, about after about two weeks, I was running out. And so I'm like, well, I thought this was enough to last the whole cycle. Then I go on the website and I realize they sell um, bigger bottles. They sell I forget what size, I believe this is 30, 30 milliliters. I don't know, but they sell bigger bottles, like 30, 60, and 90 or something like that. So I realized I had bought the wrong bottle. And so I found, uh, I met a woman at the gym and she told me about this other place called Body Science Supplements. So I decided to check them out. Uh, I checked out their Instagram. I checked out their online store and they seem pretty legit. So I took a drive down there and I brought a whole stack. $200, I bought a whole stack. They sold me three different bottles. You buy two, you get one half off. So here's my stack. I bought some GW, Carterine. I bought some Rad 140. And I bought some Ostring. Now, as far as my test subjects go, I started them out with Rad 140 for the first week. Rad 140 and GW. And then, I'm sorry, I did all three the first week. I did 20 milligrams of Rad 140. Uh, 15 milligrams of carterine and 15 milligrams of osterine. After about one week, I upped the doses of the osterine to 30 milligrams. So my test subject is currently on 20 milligrams of rat 140, 30 milligrams of osterine and 15 milligrams of carterine per day. Now, the first week, week and a half, Almost two weeks, I noticed no increase in strength, even though we had started out with this. I still noticed no increase in strength. So mind you, I had been on uh, this cycle for about three weeks now. Notice no increase in strength. And then, I don't know what happened. But I went to the gym one day and I believe I did legs and I did 50 sets on legs, 50 nonstop, 50 sets of 12 to 15 reps. Some of the sets were even up to 20 reps. I started out on the leg, uh, the leg extension. And this was after I did 10 sets of squats. I started having the leg extension and I did, I started at 50 pounds and I worked my way all the way up to 240 pounds, which was the entire rack. I never did the entire rack on leg extensions before. By the time I was done, I still felt like I could do more. It was, absolutely insane this is when i noticed the increase in strength and endurance still hadn't noticed an increase in size i did notice 
more vascularity, a lot of vascularity in legs, in the chest area, in the shoulders, and even in my back where my traps are. Noticed a lot of vascularity. Um, still hadn't noticed an increase in size. Still don't notice an increase in size. It's been four weeks since this cycle started. There's been no increase in size. There's been no side effects. I did notice a little bit of irritability, aggression, increased aggression, but it's nothing, it was nothing really that I would trip over. Um, just irritability, just a little bit of ir uh, irritation uh, within the first couple weeks. Now it's uh, it's to the point where you kind of expect it, so you know, you know, you, you understand where it's coming from, so it doesn't bother you as much if you do get irritated. Um, haven't noticed any irritability in the past week and a half, two weeks. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how long I'm gonna run this. I'm thinking anywhere between eight to 12 weeks, probably gonna do 12 weeks. Um, I have not noticed an increase in size yet, which is pretty much the reason why I bought this stuff. Because I have no problems with vascularity. I have no problems with low body fat percentage. Um, it's really just size that I've been trying to gain. Just size, just mass. Um, Every time I step on the scale, my weight is going down. So I can't say that it's put any mass on me yet. From what I heard, the longer you take SARMs, the more effective they are. So we're going to see right now. It's been four weeks. We've been taking this since. Uh, let me see. Since July 20th. So it hasn't even, it's been about four weeks, even right now, exactly four weeks. How many days is that? I don't know, but it's been four weeks. From the time we started this to the time, to, till now. To, from the time we started this, July 20th is the day I got this in the mail. <clears throat> so it's really only been about two weeks since I've been taking these ones here a little over two weeks maybe maybe i don't know but it hasn't been that long so we're gonna see where we're at in eight weeks now as far as SARMs go apparently there hasn't been much research on them um to me honestly they seem safer it seems like the results are slower than the results I got with the DMZ, way slower, but they seem like more quality results. Um, like I said, I've seen a lot of vascularity, shoulder area, chest area, a lot. Like veins I've never seen before, just creeping through my chest. Um, but it also, I think it's also dependent on your diet. If you're not watching your diet and stuff like that, if you're, if you're not on a good enough diet, you're not going to see the results you want to see. Um, and that's just it. Like diet is very important when it comes to, you know, taking certain supplements and you can't just think you're going to take this stuff and just put on this crazy amount of weight. It's been four weeks for me and I've lost like four pounds. Like it's not, it's not just going to pack muscle on you how you think, you know, like I've lost weight, you know, over the past couple of weeks, my weight has went down. So if anything, it's making me more lean and ripped looking, but I've always been lean and ripped. When I go to the gym, I'm I'm putting in work. I'm putting in work and really putting in sets. I'm spending hours in the gym. It's hard for me to say uh, if the cartarine is actually kicking in because before I was taking this stuff, I was already spending anywhere between four to seven and a half hours in the gym. That is absolute fact. I was spending four to seven and a half hours in the gym. So I cannot say that this has increased my endurance, how they say, but I have noticed a difference in vascularity. That's all I can say. Vascularity, and I've noticed a slight increase in strength, but I don't know if it's because I've been training so much and eating properly, or if it's because of this. I can't even say because I could get just as quality gains by not taking any of this stuff. I have before, 
You know, I'm not, it's not like I weigh anything that I haven't weighed before. I was at one point, I was 220 pounds. I was 220, I was 220, you know? So I can't, like I said, I can't actually say that I'm seeing any crazy results from this, but I do notice a, a slight difference. I do notice I have more veins than I normally do. My skin looks thinner. That's all I can say. Uh, and I do get really freaking hungry. It's like no matter how much I eat, I'm like hungry, like all the time. Um, sometimes I don't even want to eat, but my stomach is burning to the point where like I have to eat or I'm going to freaking pass out. You know, so that's what I do notice. Uh, like I said, these are Savior Research Sarms. I got these from BodyScienceSupplements.com. Uh, I believe they're based in they're based in Pennsylvania. The store, at least the store that I went to, is is in Lebanon, PA. Um, you can check out their Instagram. Um, the guy, one of the guys' Instagram is uh, Nick World Class, and then the other guy, his name is Skyler, but the the website is actually. Or the Instagram is actually Body Science Supplements. Um, if I remember to, I'll put the link below. Uh, you guys can check them out. Like I said, each of these bottles go for about $85 each. Um, but he gave me a deal. Buy two, get one half off. Um, so we're going to see how this goes at the end of this eight-week cycle. Um, how I look right now, I, 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 how I'm looking right now, I'm currently six foot four. I'm 216 pounds. This is pretty much the weight I've been since I started lifting weights. Nothing has, nothing's changed. I haven't changed. If you go look back on my old Instagram pictures, I'm the same size, the exact same size. Like nothing's really changed. So I can't say I'm seeing any results from this. Like I said, it's only been four weeks. This is the first thing I've ever taken other than the pro hormones. Um, as far as natural bodybuilding, being natural, like I said in the first video, to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, if someone doesn't want to be natural, then that's them. That's their body. That's what they want to do. As far as being natural, you know, if you want to be natural, go compete in the fucking natural bodybuilding competition. Me personally, I wouldn't mind being natural if I got the results that I wanted to get being natural. If it, if I didn't have to fucking, you know, if I have to work out for five years to get the results I want to get, then that, I, I mean, I will regardless, but... I'm not trying to wait five years. I've been working out my whole fucking life and I've never made it over 220 pounds. I've been working out my whole life. Anyone that knows me knows this. I've been doing this shit my whole life. And because of my metabolism, because of my genetic makeup, I can never make it over fucking 225. And I'm six foot four. So I'm, I'm, you know, taking different measures to try to put on mass and stuff like that. I'm eating large amounts of food that I've never had to fucking eat before. To be honest, I hate fucking eating. You know, my wife will tell you I hate eating. I don't like it. It's just something. I only eat if I have to. Um, I, I, I fucking hate eating. So it's an issue with me putting on weight. You know, um, so I'm taking different measures to try to get to the size that I want to be. And it's not even necessarily to compete. It's just I want to fucking look a certain way. That's it. The competing thing, to be honest, when I first started with the gym, I wanted I wanted to be an actor. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get my body. I couldn't get a lot of acting jobs. I couldn't find a lot of acting jobs. So I was like, you know what? Fuck filling out applications and going to auditions. I'm just going to focus on getting my body right for, for when I do finally get a big movie role. And I was in the gym. And next thing I know, I fucking fell in love with it. And I was just like... I was in the gym four hours a day and then six hours and then seven hours and then almost eight hours. And I was like, yo, I'm really addicted to this shit. And so I started watching freaking workout videos. Next thing I know, I was watching Ronnie Coleman videos. Next thing I know, I just fell in love with bodybuilding. I'm like, you know what? In the meantime, when I'm getting my body right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to compete in a show, you know, just for something to do. Because I was like, for the next year, I'm going to focus on getting my body right for acting. That was it. That was my... It, like my goal wasn't even to be a bodybuilder. It wasn't even to compete. I just wanted to look nice, you know? So, you know, I was looking at certain actors like Michael B. Jordan and, you know, uh, Chris Hemsworth and what's the guy's name from fucking uh, Captain America, that guy. And I'm just like, you know, I know these guys are on something. These guys, 
you know, and, and they were getting movie roles because of it, because they were, you know, and so I was just like, well, you know, I'm maybe if I do my research properly and I eat properly and, you know, maybe, maybe it's because when I took the DMZ, I was so fucked up because I didn't do it properly. I wasn't taking it in the right dosages. I wasn't taking the dosages at the right times. I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't sleeping properly. I was doing exercises and workouts that I probably shouldn't have been doing, you know, and everything was just fucked up. So I was just like, you know, well, this time maybe I'll do it right. I'll do it better. And so I think that's the thing behind these, behind these SARMs and stuff like that is that you have to, you have to have discipline with this stuff. You can't just be popping it and thinking that you're going to put on all this muscle and all of this weight. You know, it's like this, these guys out there that take steroids, you would never think they were on steroids. I met a guy the other day. He's on steroids and he looks like a freaking fat dude, like fat, you know, like, and I'm just like. Wow, you know, just you're on steroids, you know, so it's 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 hard to um, you have to you have to know what you're doing. You have to do it safely. You have to do it wisely. And that's just it. So uh, lately, I've been on a real strict diet. Like I said, I got some rice and chicken here, some celery. I got some hard boiled eggs here and let me eat them before they get cold. And my workouts are I work out every day. I drink lots of water. I stay away from salt, sugar, butter. I stay away from all of that crap. If you're going to run a cycle of this stuff, make sure you run it right and make sure you're running a clean diet because you will fuck yourself up. And I'm speaking from experience. I fucked myself up. Not only that, uh, the, what I didn't tell you guys in the other video about the DMZ is I got really bad fucking gyno. My nipples were really fucking puffy. They were puffy. You know, thank God... Um, I, I I had some knowledge on fasting and water fasting. All of that stuff went away. It went away. I'm good now. You know? I'm good. But it went away. Within a couple of months of just water fasting, it all went away. You know? And so I said, this time, I'm not fucking myself up like that. Because DMZ damn near led me to a fucking divorce. That's just it. Like, I lost everything. I had to sell everything out of my house. I was homeless for three months. I had to fucking, uh, I was in a hotel with my daughters. Like I was homeless for three fucking months, three months. Yeah. And it all started with DMZ wanting to fucking look good. Wanting to look good for what? For the beach or for some dumb shit, you know? So now I feel like with this stuff, I'm doing it with a purpose. I am going to compete in the show soon. Um, I'm doing everything with a purpose now. It's not for the wrong reasons. Um, and it's with, it's with a whole lot more discipline than I originally had. So I'm not going to go too much uh, deeper into this stuff. Like I said, I got this stuff here from Body Science Supplements. You can look up their Instagram. I'll put the link in the uh, description. Uh, this was from Proven Peptides. I don't know how long or how good this stuff works. I didn't run it as long as I'm running this stuff. Um, I just know this shit is nasty as fuck. And that's all I know about it. I don't know if it works. So I can't give you any advice on this. None of these videos are sponsored. I'm not sponsored by proven peptides or body science supplements. All I can say is that this shit, I can't say it works. But something's fucking happening. That's what I can say. Something's happening. Okay? So that's it for now. It's your boy Jackson Marquis. That is my uh, take on pro hormones, SARMs, and being natural. Oh, that's another thing, being natural. Um, I didn't go too in depth about being natural, but I really don't think it matters because no one's natural nowadays. We just wanna look good. Women wanna look good. They wanna you know, do all this stuff to their bodies. Men wanna look good. We wanna have big muscles and all of this stuff. But what I, what I will say is this, if your motive behind looking good is wrong, you're going to fail miserably and you're going to fuck yourself up. Your motive has to be right. You can't do it just because you want to look good for the beach. You do shit like that. You make you make uh, 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 spontaneous decisions and you don't do your proper research. You're going to fuck yourself up if you're doing it just for the sake of looking good. You understand what I'm saying? Like I, I'm doing it because I want to look good. I want to stay healthy, but I also I'm doing it for a purpose because I want to turn bodybuilding into a career. 
You know, this is going to be a career for me. This is not just to look good and post good pictures on Instagram. I could care less about that shit. I don't give a fuck about that. The first time when I was taking DMZ, that's why I was doing it. Because I wanted to take good pictures on Instagram and all of that shit. And I fucked myself up. You don't, I'm, I'm, don't take it for the wrong reasons. Don't try to change your body and go unnatural for the wrong reasons. Uh, like, it has to be a purpose behind it. A real purpose. Not just so you can take nice pictures. So that's my take on that. If you don't want to be natural, hey, just make sure you do the shit safely. That's it. And for people who don't want to be natural, for people who are natural, stop judging people who fucking aren't natural. Because at the end of the day, I've looked like this my whole life. Nothing's changed. I've looked like this my whole life, and I still look better than half you, 90% of you fuckers that's natural out here. Or, I'm sorry, unnatural. I look better than... Uh, uh, I've been... I've looked like this my whole life, naturally. I just... I have the... Genetics. I have the physique. I've always looked like this. If you go back on my Instagram pictures from two, three years ago, I've always been ripped, cut up, definition. I've always had this my entire life. Um, I got pictures on my Instagram of my uncle who was a bodybuilder. It just runs in my blood. My little brother was born with a six pack or I'm sorry, an eight pack. I was born with a six pack. It's just it's just in our blood, you know. Um, so you want to judge people for not being natural. Whatever, being natural, to be honest, it ain't that fucking big of a deal. It ain't that fucking great. You know, like, I don't know, you know? I think, you know, people who, who judge other people for not being natural are the people who are scared to take risks with their life. They're scared to take risks, not with their life, but scared to take risks in life. And those are the people who never fucking get anywhere, you know? Um, so it is what it is. You know, God has provided us with the knowledge on chemicals and stuff like that for a certain reason. There's, there's reasons behind it. You know, as far as steroids is, okay, you, you, you might judge somebody for taking steroids, but steroids are used for good causes. They're used for people with asthma. They're used for, you know, they use growth hormones and shit for people who are having trouble, babies who are having trouble growing and stuff like that. So this stuff has good causes. It's just the people who abuse it um, that make it an issue. You know, so I don't think there's anything wrong with using it. I don't think there's anything wrong with using anything. You just have to do everything in moderation. You know, you have to have temperance. You have to do all things in moderation. Um, and I don't even know if temperance is the right word. Anyways, you have to do everything in moderation. And that's just it, you know, because uh, you'll fuck yourself up. If you don't, and that goes with anything. If you do too much of one healthy thing, it could fuck you up. And that's just it. So that's my take on, like I said, pro hormones, SARMs, natural bodybuilding. This video is almost 30 minutes long, so I got to cut this shit short. So that's it for now. Peace. Jackson Marquis. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. Fucking go to my Instagram, Jackson Marquis, J-A-X-O-N-M-A-R-Q-U-I-I, -I, Jackson Marquis. Peace.